Probably the most asked question I get about the F-Series triple set and the F-150 full digital cluster is the availability of an EGT gauge. In this video I want to show you guys my EGT gauge compared to another aftermarket manufacturer's EGT gauge and what I did to test the performance of my EGT gauge. Here's a little closer look at my gauge. Here's the thermocouple the power supply that powers my gauge and the competitor's gauge. Over here on the other side is my competitor's gauge. Their thermocouple already wired in. And here's the last piece of the test setup. It's just an ordinary paint can filled with a mixture of plaster of Paris and sand to make a little furnace. Here's a side view of the furnace. There's three holes. This hole here and this hole here are for the thermocouple probes. This hole here is for the burner. Alright, here's a close-up of the little test setup I made. I have uh, my gauge right here. With, um, this little panel is actually one half of the board that goes in the uh, dash bezel of the 150, the F-150 triple set. And on the right, we have uh, brand X's gauge. And I'm not going to mention their name because I don't want to say anything bad about them or be accused of anything in that matter. Um, this is simply just to compare my gauge to another aftermarket gauge and see how they both perform. So I'm going to go ahead and power them up so we can take a look. Alright, <clears throat> gauge is powered up. My gauge reads zero. Um, Brand X's gauge is sitting right at about 100 degrees. I want to mention the current air temperature is 87 degrees Fahrenheit as I look in my uh, uh, shop thermometer. Now the two digits on my gauge, um, you're going to multiply those by uh, the display reading there by 100, just like on Brand X's gauge. So if we get a 1 displayed on my gauge, that's actually 100 degrees, and if we get a 10 displayed on my gauge, that's actually 1000 degrees. Okay, here's a close-up of the inside of the furnace. Um, if you look carefully, you can see the uh, two thermal couples and you can uh, just uh, make out the uh, burner tip from the torch all the way there in the back. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, get the little mini furnace fired up and see what happens.
well guys, um, I guess we're losing too much heat. Um, I'm guessing I need to make a lid to cover the uh, the opening there so we can get some heat built up. We did see six or seven hundred degrees. It, it would appear that my gauge is, is at least in the ballpark of Brand X's gauge. I, I guess we're on the right track. I just, I would like to see, you know, at least a thousand degrees, maybe twelve, thirteen hundred degrees. I want to see how it performs in that temperature range before I can start offering it. After a few hours of using this setup with the map gas cylinder, I could not reach the temperatures that I wanted. I wanted to get as close as I can up to four, 1400 degrees Fahrenheit just to check the range of my gauge. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board and come up with something better. After speaking with a buddy of mine who has some experience building these, uh, we decided that I needed a better burner setup. So I bought a 30 pound regulator off of Amazon to hook up to a barbecue grill tank. Um, that did not work as well as I wanted to either. So as a last resort, I got the acetylene torch out and we're going to use that to do some testing. This is going to be take two for the EGT gauge. We got our homemade furnace set up. Instead of using the little propane torch, I stepped up the game to an acetylene torch. There's a side view of the setup. This is the sensor for my gauge. This is the sensor for Brand X's gauge. The acetylene torch. So let's see what happens this time. Doesn't look too bad guys, 100 to 200 degrees off. Looks like they're tracking a lot closer on the cool down, probably because the temperature is more uniform inside that furnace. Thank you. 
It looks like the acetylene torch setup was a success. I was able to get both gauges up to around 14 to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. A couple things to note from the video. It's a little bit hard to see the digital display out in the daylight. That is mainly because the way the camera sees the LED light. Simply putting a blue filter over it would have helped. It would have added some contrast and allowed the camera to pick up the digits a lot better. The other thing I noticed after reviewing the footage, while the setup was heating, the two gauges were way, way off. That most likely was due to an uneven heat distribution inside the furnace. After the torch was turned off, as the whole setup cooled down, both gauges were within 100 degrees of each other. In conclusion, it looks like my setup works. There's a couple design changes I need to do. I would like to get a slightly different temperature probe with a longer wire perhaps and a little smaller diameter to go inside my little connector. Otherwise, everything was good, and I just got to make a few changes to get this thing ready for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate your support as always.